step away. The pressure was coming and coming and coming, and finally Ben Steele got there, and down he went. Well, Steele's probably getting number 81, the right side of your screen. Dilger, the tight end, is blocking, and that's a mismatch. A defensive end as good as Steele is against the tight end. First and 10 for the Buckeyes with 2.44 to go in the first half. We've got a 12-3 count, Ohio State leading Michigan. the 30-yard line, Glenn Steele. Steel. That's a protection breakdown, and that's what happens sometimes when you get in these really different offensive formations. Your pass protection scheme isn't as sound as your other formation schemes. He comes from the bottom of your screen. See, they're not coming out to pick him up. He's all alone. He should be able to get after him, and he does. See that? Adam Greenlee's gone all the way quarterback for Indiana. Oh, he got erased on the play. Oh, tough throw out to Kearney. Just short of the first down, gain of nine. But did Greenlee ever pay for it? Glenn Steele just wiped out the quarterback. Beautiful job by Greenlee. Standing in the Second down, 12. Sauter will go down at the 35. Glenn Steele coming from his defensive end position to get the sack. Talked about Cooper being a sophomore. This is Corey Sauter as a sophomore. And he's got to learn now. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. He's got to unload that ball and no pressure's coming. Number one, you're playing a dominant defense. You know that they're coming somewhere. You can't sit back there and hold the ball. You either have to unload it, but you have to avoid the sack. The 7 and 10. No real deep center field right now for the Satans. Trevor in trouble and on his way down. The big play made by Glenn Steele. And that may very well do it. They counted down at Michigan Stadium. And the Wolverines hang on. A shot out of the border makers. Red second down, three. That's a pretty good hit, but they don't take Holton down. Uh, he will, however, lose a little bit on the play. But that was good, strong penetration by Glenn Steele. Pounding in there. Brett Blackwell got a piece of that action as well, number 24. It is third and goal for UCLA at the Michigan 5. McBride is in motion. McNown, snap on the side of the head and taken down. Number 81 was the man that did most of the damage, Glenn Steele. Well, you gotta block these guys. Come on, offense, you gotta block Steele. Nobody's gonna touch him. Look at him on this side of the screen. Nobody touches Steele, number 81. That's just a missed block, probably by Ferris, number 71. And Schultz rolling right in a foot race, needs to find an open man, throws it incomplete. Nobody was there. Well, Glenn Steele, number 81, did a good job of getting underneath the lead fullback's block, Garrett Gould, and that forced him to really get running. Steele chased him. Here he is, a big guy. See, he, they run him outside like that to give him time, but he didn't get any time because Steele beat the block. Good job by Glenn Steele. That's Todd Pollock, one of the tight ends in motion. Wingman now. Fake to Quentin. Hassel back. Hasseled and down. Sacked at the nine yard line by Glenn Steele. See, that's the disadvantage of being so concerned about price rush. They were sacked seven times last week, as we said earlier, so they're keeping more people in to protect, fewer people in the pattern. He couldn't find a guy open. Had time to throw it, nobody open. He gets sacked. Michigan State winning big. Boston College is taking the lead over West Virginia. It's a surprise. Hester's in trouble, trying to step away from it and can't do it. Glenn Steele, 81, and Josh Williams, 91. Uh, the pressure people inside. Colorado defense is getting better all the while, too. Here's Hessler back, hands the ball away, and there's a loss on the play as number Marlon Barnes carrying, and Glenn Steele is not having any of it. Big guy from Ligadier, Indiana. Took him down for a loss on the play, back to the 15-yard line. This Michigan defense, Keith, uh, 
uh, take a look at the defensive line and the offensive line play. Steele is 81. He beats his man and makes the play. But this Michigan defense was pretty good coming back. It'll be interesting to see what the statistics at halftime show us. And Hogan's going nowhere. Glenn Steele, the veteran defensive end, wraps him up. No gain, may have lost a half yard. He talked first to ball control offense, no turnovers, and the kicking game, especially net punting. Field position so important in good defense. Well, they had it covered on the far side, and then Glenn Steele puts away Jay Rogers as he waited for a receiver to open. So back inside the 15, at Josh Williams, I should say, on that stop. Take a look at Steele coming from the right side of your screen. Rogers, by time he feels his presence, he has no chance to do anything but just tuck that ball and protect against the fumble, but Steele just beats his offensive line. They keep him in the backfield and then slip him out on the pattern, but no chance for Burke to even glance at him. Steele meeting Josh Williams at the quarterback. White went in motion. And Banks says hello to Glenn Steele. Let's go down to Dave Ryan. First down and 10 for Wisconsin now. Their pot's boiling. They trail by just six points. They're eight and two on the season, and they're still in the Rose Bowl hunt themselves. That tackle is made by Glenn Steele. Glenn Steele in stop. First down, Minnesota. Sauter still got it, and Steele has him. Back near the 22-yard line, loss of eight. Glenn Steele, the senior, out of Legionnaire, Indiana. Little play action pass here as Sauter comes to this side. He sees the man in front of him right there. But right here, if you're starting, you've got to throw the ball away. You know that your pursuit is coming from the back side. So if it's not open, right here as you see James Hall, 56. It's not there. Throw it out of bounds. Don't let Steele come because that's where the pursuit's going to get you from behind. But the big redhead brings him up now to the line of scrimmage. And here's your first play. Pressure coming. Sack. It is Glenn Steele, number 81, who fought his way through the traffic. A slow, developing play-action thing that was blown apart by the rush of Glenn Steele. What we were doing, Keith, they were, it was a play-action pass, a fake reverse, which is what took so long. Take a look, they're going to fake it this way, and the reverse is going to be coming back the other direction. Yeah, Chaffee Fields. The Chaffee Fields. They're trying to go right at Woodson with Juravicius, and they took too long to get there. He was covered anyway. The loss is three yards. It is third down and 13 for Ohio State. Three and a half minutes to play. times when you cannot take a sack. There's Steele on the other side working against Walter, 77. There's a coverage sack. The guys downfield were covered, and Joe Germain doesn't have the footwork that Stanley does to get out of there. If Kent State can get by Wisconsin today and Ohio State loses here, the Lions become an Alliance Bowl probability. Joe Germain under pressure. It is incomplete. He threw on his way down, and Jim Kimberlin says, nothing to it. You're down right here at the line of scrimmage. Glenn Steele, one more time. Glenn Steele stepping up. What is this, his third sack today? He came in with five. Big guys, big players step up in big games, and Steele has done that today. <laughs> 